very warm welcome here today in our Epson Industry Solution Center in Meerbusch, Germany. We are very pleased that we can present you today our very first UV flat printer. Before we're really starting with the presentation, I have a few facts. First spec is, what is the maximum printing area? The maximum printing area is 2.5 by 1.25 meter. Second thing is, what is the maximum printing height? These are 8 centimeter. And the third thing is always, which inks you are using. So we are using UV ink, and these inks are cured with a LED lamp in this printer. And we have in total 10 inks in the printer. We have besides cyan, magenta, yellow, and black, a light cyan and light magenta, a gray, a red, and a varnish, and a white. So a lot of possibilities to getting fantastic printouts of that printer. And then we are, of course, what you can do with such a UV flat printer, you can print on different kinds of rigid materials, from uh, acrylic plates, aluminum plates, aluminum compound plates, whatever you can think about, wooden plates, you can print on these kind of plates. The print speed is between 4.8 square meters per hour up to 43.1 square meter per hour. This always depends on which mode and which quality do you need for your prints. Let's start with the setup of the printer. Before we do that, I need to introduce Jens because he is a special equipped with all the safety equipment to operate the printer safely. But the first thing he needs to do is to start the printer. After the printer is powered on or during that phase, normally Jens would go to the back of the printer checking if we have enough ink in the ink tanks, but you can check also the status of the ink tanks with the LEDs on the right side of me. The next step is to check the pressure of the sub-tanks on the top of the printer. Then Jens is opening the cover of the printhead. And then we have a nice special tool to open and close the valves of the sub-tanks. So now Jens needs to open all the valves that is needed, that print can, ink can go through the printhead and will be printed by the printer on the substrate. After all valves are open, Jens will close the cover of the printhead and we can start to load and prepare the substrate for printing. After the successful setup of the printer, we are now ready to uh, put the substrate onto the printer. We have prepared this in advance, so we have moved the gantry back so that we have more space and have put a aluminum com compound plate on the printer. But before we discuss the details, please have a look at Jens and what you can see he have wearing no mask and no gloves anymore. That is not necessary because we have no direct ink contact anymore. To make our life easier to put the substrate on the printer, we have layout pins which help us a lot to position the substrate at the right uh, place. And very important at this layout pins is that the height of the layout pins is not higher as the substrate itself, because then he will interfere the printing process and measuring process. Our printer is equipped with a vacuum system, and this vacuum system has four zones. So that you only have to activate this zone where your substrate is located. For that, Jens is switching now on the uh, vacuum system and you will hear a, a small noise if it's running up. And the next step, uh, we still need to remove the protection liner of the media. After Jens has removed the protection liner, we are now able to start the automatic height measurement of the printhead so that we get the correct distance between printhead and substrate to print as best as possible. After the printer has measured the height of the substrate successfully, we are ready to start a print job. Important is to know that the printer has also a proximity sensor, which secure the printer so that it's not possible that the printer will crash into some unexpected material on the print surface. So the next step is that we're looking into the rib and starting a print job over the Epson flatbed controller software. After we have positioned the substrate correctly on the printer, we are now ready to prepare the print job. We're using our Epson Edge Print software and we're loading a prepared print job into our software. 
Now it's loading. After it's loaded, we can see the different layers. And uh, there's one speciality, or maybe two specialities. You can see we have no white data in, because we're printing on a whiteboard. We have a color layer, and we will use a third layer, which is a varnish layer, so that we can have a nice coating on top of the print. Going through the different settings we need, job settings are OK for the, uh, for the time. Here in the media settings, we have to adjust the al aluminum composite panel. This is a standard setting we have available in our RIP and we increase the input resolution for best quality. On the layout settings, we can check, quickly check the size. The size is OK, or let me say the size is not OK for the panel, but we doesn't rescale. We, we will use cropping that the size will fit to the boards we have on the printer. Color setting is set to automatic. Embedded profiles will be used and converted nicely into the printing profile. Replacement color, we have nothing to replace. We have a special layer for the varnish that will be used automatic. On the marks, we doesn't need any marks because we print it on a final cutted board. Cropping, as mentioned before, we have to set up a little bit to make the print fitting to our size of the board. We need to here 490 millimeter by 390 millimeter. Uh, and we uh, moving it down so that we get the logos in the print. And now we are ready so that we can start the print. Perfect, the print is ready. And now we can look into the details and the advantages of our inks and our printers. What you can see here is, first of all, how the varnishes work. And if you can see here, we can use the varnish as a color. So we can position anywhere, everywhere uh, we need it. In addition, you can see the red is really pushing the gamut and the vividness of that picture very much. And the light colors are giving us very, very nice gradations between the light and the dark colors without any distortion. And the gray is uh, responsible for the metamerism, so that the metamerism of our print is very low. So a gray is a gray and not a greenish or a reddish gray. So perfect results with our printers on this print. We need a short maintenance on a daily basis on the printer, especially on the print head, on the waste ink bottle, and on the surface of the printer. On a monthly basis, we need to clean the UV lamp, the UV lamp filters, the ionizer, and the cable system. On every half year, you have to check the uh, level of the cooling liquid in the cooling device for the LED lamps. In practice, Jens will show you now how you have to clean on a daily basis the print head, and on a monthly basis, the UV lamps. Jens can push back the flushing box and will press the cleaning button for 10 seconds on each side. After that, we need to press again to finish the cleaning process, or not really to finish, that the print head will lift it up and Jens have more space with the dust free cloth to clean the print heads manually. And always Jens doing that very carefully. We need to press again to finish the wiping, and now Jens can pull back the flushing box. And after the flushing box is pulled back, we can finish the daily maintenance process on the printhead. For the monthly cleaning of the UV lamp, the process is very similar. We have to go to the cleaning in the UV flatbed controller. Then the cleaning will be started. I have to bypass the flushing of the ink, and the printhead is moving up, so it Jens have space to clean the UV lamps. After the UV lamps are cleaned, you press two times on the OK button in the UV flatbed controller software, and the printer will move into the standard position. Thank you very much for watching the video. We are now only at the end of the video. A short summary, this printer has an outstanding set of inks including light sign, light magenta, gray, red, and a varnish. And you have seen what possibilities uh, you have with that printer to make nice and outstanding prints on rigid substrate. Our software Epson Edge dashboard 
and our Epson UV flat plate controller make your life easy to printing and can control any detail of the printer. That the operation of the printer is easy and perfect. At that point, I can say only thank you again and goodbye.